This industry is supposed to be bigger than AI. Investors are throwing billions into it. They say it'll change everything from finance to healthcare. But here's the ugly truth. The tech barely works and the numbers just don't add up. Let's talk about quantum computing. The opportunity is mind-boggling. We are talking about hundreds of billions of dollars of market opportunity. Earlier this year, that man, the CEO of one of the hottest quantum companies, Rigetti Computing, did something very strange. He sold all his shares in the company he runs. Why would he do that? The stock is up more than 4,000% this year. And as a business, the company is growing. So what does he know that investors don't? Before answering that, let's take a look at what quantum computing actually is. A normal computer thinks in ones and zeros. Like a light switch, it can be either on or off. Now imagine a switch that can be on and off at the same time. That's a quantum computer. It can process millions of possibilities at once. That is revolutionary. And I'm not talking about a faster laptop here. Think bigger, faster drug discovery, better financial models, and even enhancing AI and machine learning. But here's the thing, we're not even close to getting there. Quantum computers today are what scientists call noisy. They're small, unstable, make a lot of errors. They need to be cooled to near absolute zero just to function. And yet, companies like Rigetti, D-Wave, and IonQ are valued as if they've already changed the world. And they're even in talks to give stakes to the US government. But here's the thing, Rigetti lost over $200 million last year, and yet its market cap is at 15 billion. The entire quantum computing market today is worth less than a billion. Still, quantum stocks valuations are almost 150 times higher than the biggest names in tech. As an investor, this should be a red flag. So maybe Rigetti's CEO didn't lose faith in the company after all. Maybe he just realized investors lost touch with reality. Look, quantum computing is the future and the hype around it is real, but that may not become a reality before 2035 or even 2040. And if investors keep obsessing with buying this hype, the whole industry may crash before the technology even arrives.